Quite a treat for you today. She is a Grammy Award winning singer, songwriter, and producer. Paula Cole's latest album, Low, showcasing a batch of new original songs. She joins us today in studio ahead of her concert tonight in Chicago. Welcome. Hi. So glad to have you here. Great Thanks for coming here. in. I know you had that performance a little bit later tonight, so thank you very much. Yeah, we're happy to be at Old Town tonight, That's historic true. venue. Yeah. Great crowd, too. Very yeah. much uh, music aficionados yes, there. Yes, yes. Tell us a little bit about um, this latest release. It's 11 songs said to be very personal and very beautiful at the same time. Oh, uh, sure. No, it's a, a labor of love. Um, it's my first entirely set of new songs written by me uh, in about nearly a decade. Um, and just was ready to be vulnerable again, again, I guess, you know. Can you talk to me a little bit about the uh, writing and the producing process? Do you, do you come up when you're writing your songs with the music? Do you figure out some lyrics? Or how do you mend mm -hmm. that marriage? It's funny. People ask that question a lot. I think people are fascinated by the songwriting process. And I just try to keep coming at it from different angles so it stays fresh for me. So sometimes it's a lyric first, like where have all the cowboys gone? Was <laughs> yeah. That was a lyric first. And sometimes it's literally like shapes of chords on instruments. Um, sometimes it's a groove. It comes, I try to change keys, tempos, feel, okay. just keeping it fresh. Sitting on the couch, just messing around, you're like, I kind of like that. Uh, I don't Let's know, it that. comes, it's so random. It comes and goes. It's a mystery. You're chasing a mystery, really. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah. Uh, one of the songs is dedicated to your uh, longtime friend and early collaborator, Mark Hutchins. Yes. Uh, and yes. his passing, I believe. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. You know, you get old enough and you start losing people you love. It just happens now. And, uh, you know, he was so formative for me. He introduced me to such amazing music because I grew up basically at the tip of an island in New England and didn't get the radio dial in very well. <laughs> we made music in the house. So I had this very like unique upbringing. And uh, Mark, he introduced me to so much beautiful kind of alternative rock and early hip hop in the early 90s, even the Beatles. I didn't, didn't yeah. even really listen to the Beatles until Mark, and I'm so sad to lose him, so I wrote a song for him. It's called The Replacements and Dinosaur Jr., because he turned me on to those bands in the early 90s, and just the song needed to be fun like he was. It's so nice. I think what I hear you saying is when you go to the record store, you'd get some records, you'd go back home, you play them, and you're like, wow, there is some inspiration right there. Oh, totally. Like going to record stores, that was a big deal. Was it, wasn't it a deal? Yeah. Yeah. Flipping through. Yeah. yeah. Ain't in times. Uh, so thank you so much for being here. Uh, you perform tonight at 8 p.m. at the Old Town School of Folk Music. Can you please introduce these gentlemen real Absolutely. quick? Absolutely. And he's from Chicago. This is Chris Bruce on guitar. Hi, Chris. Nice to see you. Yes. And this is Ross Gallagher on bass and singing background vocals with me. What are you going to play? We're going to play um, a new song. And this is the last song on my new album. It's called Flying Home. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. And this is kind of a continuation of a beautiful poem by Max Ehrman. And if you have a minute to go find that poem, it's called Desiderata. And this is, is flying home. A one, two, three, four, five, six.
patience, patience, bearing into fruit. Wisdom and counsel and letting go the hubris of our youth. Surrender, ego, celebrating later years of age. Loosening wide knock of temper in the fallen dreams we've laid. And when the storm.